Hi everyone, it's Mari. I'm back again today for Trinity Stamps and today I'm going to be using the So Very Loved Stamp Set and Coordinating Dies. This is a really cool set that has a bunch of different dies and there's a lot of different ways that you can die cut out this image. I've stamped the image out here you can see with some Memento Tuxedo Black ink on some Nina Solar White. Uh, cardstock and I've die cut out just the clouds and hearts portion of that stamped image and what I'm going to do is I'm going to color this image just with a really really simple three color uh, color scheme here so I'm going with rainbow order colors for the rainbow a pink a yellow and a blue green I'm going to color the hearts that are in the clouds exactly those same three colors and the only thing I'm really doing to do any amount of shading at all is to go over the exact same color with the same same um, same marker so I'm not even using a different marker here I'm using exactly the same one but I'm just going over some of the areas a second time to darken them a little a little bit to create a little bit of a shadow so really really simple coloring here and I just wanted a really pretty soft pastel blend here now what I did was like I said there's a few different uh, coordinating dies with this set and you can use them in a bunch of different ways so one of the dies cuts out kind of like the outside edges of all of the different parts of this image here and you're going to see right away a transition and I'm going to show you how I used that one die to to cut out sort of like a peekaboo element in the front of my card so you'll see that on my the front of my A2 size card base um, the cutaway section in the front of the card is going to create that peekaboo element and this part here that I'm coloring I'm going to adhere to the inside so really fun and like I said there's a bunch of different ways that you can use this die set it's so cool so I'm going to adhere this to the front of the card first by putting a little bit of a repositionable removable adhesive onto that image that I've colored I'm going to close I'm going to just position it so that it's in the right spot and then I'll close the card on it and it will stick to the card front and then you'll see what I do from there but right now I'm just going to get that adhered to the back of the card base front and get that stuck down and now what I'll do is I'll go ahead and take that same adhesive and apply it to the back of that die cut piece and then it will stick to the, the inside of my card which is where I want it right so I'll just go ahead and rub off that repositionable adhesive and get that all good to go and then I also took the coordinating die for the sentiment and cut that out and I'm going to use that on my card front for my sentiment now I also wanted to use the coordinating die that is uh, the layerable piece over top of the word love I'm going to color that with the same color of markers that I used my Copics for uh, coloring that rainbow. So the pink, the yellow, and the blue green, and just get that kind of rainbow colored sentiment there. I'm going to layer that over top of the stamped word loved. And this is, I just think this is genius, this stamp and coordinating die set, because there's just like so many options with this. There's actually a couple of dies for the word loved in the set you, that you can use a couple of different ways. And here you, you can just see that I'm going to layer this over top of that black and white or the black stamped image there. And I'll get that glued down. And now I'm just going to take my corner punch my corner rounder and I'm going to round all four corners of my card here and then I'm going to take a really fine black gel pen and I'm going to add some faux stitching all the way around the edge of the front of my card this is a really old technique like I used to do this 100 years ago when I was making cards but it's a really fun technique to create that little bit of faux stitched look on your card I think it's just really clean and simple and a really fun look now I'm popping up the sentiment that I've die cut out here I'm going to pop that up on my card front and this is just so pretty it's a really simple beautiful card really easy to make but it was so fun to try to figure out a different way to use that stamp with the coordinating dies something a little bit different and unique now these embellishments are so fun and these are in the embellishment uh, section of the Trinity shop they are the flat backed beads. They are so fun. They're gorgeous. They kind of are pearlescent and they match my colors perfectly here. So 
I'm going to just finish up by gluing six of those onto my card in different sizes, just sprinkled around the card, and my card is going to be finished. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching me make my card today. I really appreciate it. Please make sure that you subscribe to the channel, that you leave a comment, and hit that thumbs up. We'd love you to check out Trinity Stamps in all of the social media platforms, Instagram, Facebook, um, the Facebook group, and thanks so much for stopping by. Have an amazing day, everybody. See you, see you next time.